Hey Fit Fam, so today we're going to be doing a little bit of a chit chat because I feel like I haven't done one of these in a long time, but it's all gonna be centered around one topic and one thing that's been on my mind for about the whole entire year. And I haven't decided, so before you guys jump the gun and think that I'm actually gonna drop out, like I really just wanna talk to you guys about it and I want you guys to know my reasoning behind why I want to and also why I don't want to. And I wanna know what your guys' thoughts are because at the end of the day, I make content that is for you guys that are in college or looking to go to ASU and that's one of my favorite things being able to help you guys that go to ASU like one of the only reasons why I decided to come here was I mean I love their exercise and wellness program but I really wanted to be making content that was for college students and I realized that college is not a hundred percent what I want to be doing you guys know I make videos almost daily on my YouTube channel and I love doing that and it's not just that that's pulling me towards other ways so the first thing I kind of want to chit chat about is the fact that like the pros and the cons of like why I want to drop out and don't I don't think that I'm like I don't know you guys can think whatever you want actually but so one of the main reasons why I ended up going to ASU is because two things, I did not have to pay for college because I had a very, I had a few scholarships and one of them was very big, so I didn't have to actually pay for, uh, for schooling. So it wasn't like I needed to go to community college, figure my crap out first. I could literally go to ASU and I already knew what I wanted to major in and as I got here I realized that no one really has their shit together so like I don't feel like I am like an odd one out or anything but I realized that like college isn't always for everyone um, if you guys know Claire Grimes she is a super nice girl she makes YouTube videos she ended up moving to Costa Rica after first semester she went to ASU and um, you know i had been thinking about it way before that to just not be in college anymore but once she did that it really made me realize like I don't have to be here either and um, I want to weigh the pros and cons with you guys because I feel like I'm a pretty re reasonable person I feel like education whether you get it from an e-course online or you get it from school is power because knowledge is power and the goals that I have in life and I know that a lot of you guys have as well are to be successful to be happy and to do something that you love and you're passionate about so I want to take a second and I want to talk to you guys about that because I want to weigh the pros and cons so for me personally I'm going to give you guys some background and I really dad if you're watching this I don't want you to think that I'm like talking poorly of people who did not graduate college because I'm gonna be the first person to say my dad did not graduate college and I don't think it's a bad thing because at the end of the day like um, I'm gonna say two things I'm gonna say that I don't think it's a bad thing and I think it is a bad thing because I don't think it's a bad thing because back in that era you did not like back in like 10 even 10 years ago you did not need a college education to get a career out of something now you really do um, unless you're gonna be your own boss like you really need it so that's kind of where I'm at but then also I want to specifically talk about like the pros and the cons and I don't want anyone to think I'm judging people who drop out of college because I want I want to drop out like one of the main th reasons why I want to though is because of my statistics class so it sounds really weird but when you have one class that you just hate so much and it makes you think about just dropping out of college all together and you think like maybe college isn't for me and one of the reasons why I want to drop out so like the pros of dropping out um you guys may or may not know this but I obviously have my social media that I do make money off of and I work very hard and I love doing I'm so passionate about it and like I will stay up all night long like my friends know and just like think of ideas like if you guys saw what's over here I have like lists and lists of like ideas that I just write down and I have that as one of my businesses in a sense and then my second business is my online personal training because I know what it's like to be overweight and be in high school be in college and just want to change your life like I know that and I want to be able to help girls and I don't want to be charging up the asshole for training them but at the same time like and when I say training I do mostly like nutrition advice and like stuff like that but like I do sometimes charge and I I that is one of my other businesses because I have three. 
and I love doing that because my goal is to always impact people like I don't want to be someone that when they die at their funeral they're like yeah they crunch numbers all day instead I want people to say like wow like they actually helped people and you know I want to have people n have an impact and be able to change their lives and feel empowered because when I was younger I didn't feel empowered and I felt like I didn't have control of my life and I want women and girls to be able to feel that way and men too and at the end of the day like that's why I have my you know fit sit because like I would have I could have just been Sydney Aronson but I decided to change my stuff to fit sit because I realized like I want people to associate health and fitness and reaching their goals with me you know like I want them to be able to use me as their tool to get to where they want to be um and so that's why I do that and it does take a lot of time people you know think that being in college is so easy and that you party all the time but I honestly do not party I don't have a real I have a college experience in a sense um, and I'll get into more of that later but I don't have the college experience that everyone is always you know boasting about just because my goals are so important to me so that's the second business. The third business though is my social media marketing. So I can do literally anything from businesses to influencers, helping influencers make money on social media because I've been doing this for five years. And within these five years, I've made a decent amount. I've made a pretty penny off of just brand deals and I have under 20,000 subscribers. So if that tells you something, I've kind of figured out how to land deals that I like and that I believe in rather than just selling myself out all the time. Um, as for businesses, I do obviously have my um, fitness personal training business and I know how to market and I've done it for other people before in the past so I decided like I'm a college student, I really love helping people reach their goals whether it's fitness or business goals and um, I created that so that's Fits in Media and if you guys are interested I have it linked down below. But I have those three businesses and I feel like I'm at this point where it's like you either jump and you just go f like head first into it, you just dive in or you end up stepping your toes in the water and never fully getting what you really want out of what you're doing. And the one of the hard things for me is the fact that like I feel like education I've always been told so my mom graduated from college and she actually graduated from ASU so like my fa I'm an alumni or my mom's an alumni so like I'm part of an alumni family and my mom's a teacher so I feel like it's very different because like I have this entrepreneurial like mind and I want to be able to do all these things and I feel like I don't have enough time in the day to do it, but yet I'm still doing it right now. But I feel like if I had all this time, I'd be able to. But then at the same time, I'm like, what if in 40 years I don't like what I'm doing and I want to do something different and I need a degree to have it. I need a bachelor's. And so like the pros are like, I'd have more time. I would actually enjoy what I'm doing. I would be making money. Um, I'd be able to just live life. And I really do feel like I have a set path and I've been doing this for five years now like in a sense I've been doing some type of stuff and like you always change and evolve as a person and I really do want to do other things and I don't ever really want to be a specifically like a personal trainer I don't want to go to physical therapy so I don't really I don't know I feel like maybe a marketing degree would be better but I also really love my exercise and wellness degree and I don't want to disappoint people by dropping out so I just don't know what to do because at the end of the day, I just, I want to enjoy life. I want to love my life and I feel like right now I'm just thriving but living and I love ASU but I'm just not doing what I potentially could be doing already and I feel like what I'm planning on doing is exactly this so I don't know why I'm really going to school because I just feel like what I'm doing isn't benefiting me in the long run I don't know like I do know I don't feel like it's gonna benefit me in the long run but I also feel like if I plan on ever working for someone else which I don't plan on doing then I'm gonna need it like what if I end up getting desperate and I need that but at the same time I feel like I'll never reach that point and I I don't know you know like I don't know I don't want to disappoint my family I don't want to disappoint myself and look back and be like why didn't you do that why didn't you just go through the rest of the three years because I have my first year under my belt um, but 
I just I'm gonna have to keep keep working and keep doing this but I feel like it could really it could really take off if I were able to help others and create my content like it would take off if I were to be able to create my content and just thrive off my ideas but one other thing is like I really like all the knowledge I'm learning because I am a fitness based like thing and if I want to you know continue doing fitness I have to stick it out and like get my certification because either way to be a fitness professional you can be experience based or you should be certified but both is usually the best and right now I'm working towards having a degree in it which is even more than a certification but I don't know you only really need a certification if you want to be a fitness professional but I also feel like a degree would be awesome because then I'd have the degree and I'd have that out of the way so I don't know you guys I would honestly I feel like a lot of people don't use their degrees and I feel like it's just a waste and the big thing is the pro is right now my college is paid for like I'm not paying for my college my parents aren't paying for my college and I literally am living in the dorms for free so I'm just like kind of at a loss because I really don't want to be that girl that's like oh my gosh I'm dropping out of college like I'm gonna go follow my dreams and my heart but at the same time like I really want to do that because I want to follow my my intuition and I, I want to I want to thrive and I don't want to be somebody that's just being hired to work I don't want to have the same thing every single day like I love having a routine but I just love being able to create my content and like I'm not creative in many other ways but you know you're passionate about something when you wake up in the morning and you are ready for the day like it is 7 30 in the morning I've been up for two hours I was filming earlier um, for Fit Sid Media and now I'm filming this YouTube video I'm about to go to a modeling gig and then I have class until 6 p.m. so it's just one of those things where it's like I'm really really happy with where my life is right now but I also hate my statistics class which is also I have a 61 percent and I've never had a grade lower than an A like I I'm really disappointed in my abilities right now. I don't know, like I feel like I can handle it and go through it, but at the same time I feel like what I'm doing right now is what I want to do. And I I don't wanna waste my time doing things that are just irrelevant, you know? Like I don't know how to explain it, you guys, like I think I've explained it as clearly as I possibly can, but I'm just torn between doing what society says we should do and doing what my heart says I should do. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. My mind says follow what society says, be smart so you have a backup plan. But then at the same time, my heart's telling me you're young, you live one time, if you fuck up, it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, you'll come back and you'll be fine. Like, it doesn't matter. And at the same time, I'm like, um, my heart this is the thing my heart is saying Sydney do what you love do what you're passionate about at the end of the day It doesn't matter what paycheck you have as long as you can make ends meet and you can help people that'll that's what's gonna make you happy And like that's one of the big things for me like intent is so much like People always say that like if you have the intent to do it you're trying but my thing is like I want to make an impact I don't want to just have intent impact is always greater than intent I don't want to be someone that you're like, well, I guess you tried. I want to be someone where you're like, Sydney, you changed my life. And I want someone to have people that actually do have their life changed. And I want to be able to help people and women and girls reach their goals in whatever aspect they have. Like, the reason why I have Fits in Media is because I know what it's like to not know anything about social media and have to learn from the ground up. And I want to make it simple and easy for you guys. And whether you want to grow your Instagram and land brand deals and make that your job, or you want to be a small business and turn your small business into a big business, you know? I just wanna see you reach your goals. And then if it comes to health goals, like my biggest impact I wanna make is be able to have people be happy with themselves and reach the health goals they've set, but love themselves in the process of reaching them. 
um, and like along the way and so like my big thing is like I just don't feel like college is for me because at the end of the day like I don't care you don't die and bring an extremely nice car like I'm not talking trash about like anyone in the fitness industry who has nice vehicles because you know it'd be super nice to have one but like right now you guys I drive a 1997 Mercury Villager minivan and you know what I'm so thankful for that car but like a lot of people assume that I drive like something nicer and you guys are always like, well, Sydney, like, you're doing so well. And it's like, well, yeah, but, like, I spend my money on making better videos and making better, like, everything. So that then you guys can have it, you know, benefit you because that's what I want at the end of the day. And so I don't know because at the end, I just feel like the time that I'm spending, I could be making a little bit more money and I could be helping a lot more people and I could just be doing what I love. And that, so that's what my heart's saying. My head on the other hand is like you need a college degree whether you use it or not like everyone says because at the end of the day one day you might need it but then I'm like do I really need it like I don't know because I feel like I really know what I want to do and I feel like I'm not I don't want to be someone that's ever in that mentality that they're doing something just to do it and I'm not a huge person to want to do like um, in-person personal training because I it's just not for me but I don't know you guys I don't know so I just kind of wanted to throw that out there because I feel like this is going to be a raw, unedited talk because I feel like it's really important to just sit down and talk to you guys because this is today's video. It's Monday. Um, tomorrow or Next Monday, I'm going to talk about scholarships. And then after that, I'm going to be talking all about um, answering college questions for ASU. So if you guys have any ASU questions, then let me know. Um, one thing I also do want to say is the fact that like, I love living in Arizona. Arizona is seriously like home to me. Phoenix in particularly is my home. I don't think I would want to live anywhere else. And when people ask me what I'd want to do, like I love it here and I love what I do and I, I just love the vibes here and I just, I don't know, you know, like, yeah, it's just, just crazy. Just crazy. I don't know. Should I, I don't know. Like right now, I'm taking a smaller amount of credits, but like I'm still taking enough to keep my scholarship and I can't drop statistics, but eventually I'm going to have to take sciences and I'm not going to, I don't want to stress about a science because at the end of the day, I, I'm not, I don't know, you know what I mean? Like I think knowledge is power, but I also think that I can learn a lot more through learning on my own and... I definitely don't think I know everything in the world and I know that but I feel like I'm just sitting here and doing work that I'm never gonna remember what I learned in statistics like I'm not gonna know what Sigma or Alpha like I'll probably remember what Alpha is but like I won't know what like how to do it and the thing is like it's just so weird that we have to take a class like that and I'm not saying it's useless because it helps your brain capacity but I don't know Anyways, I'd love your guys' opinions, and no opinion is left unsaid at FitSid. <laughs> but I'm gonna, I, I usually edit things out and like redo it because that did not come out right. Usually I'm like, no opinion is left unsaid in the Fit Fam. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> but, anyways, no opinion is uh, left unsaid in the Fit Fam. And if you guys are interested in letting me know what you guys think, I would love to know. And I just love you guys so much. And I'm so thankful for you guys. And if you guys are looking to support me and you guys are looking to, you know, tell me your opinion, I'd love to know whether it's good, bad, harsh, positive, negative, whatever it is. I respect your guys' opinions. I love your guys' opinions. And I wouldn't be here without you guys. I would not be as happy as I am and being able to help you guys if you guys didn't watch my content. So... With that being said, I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. You're amazing. Stay beautiful. Stay happy, and stay motivated. Bye, babes.